Okay, so to start, I do know that the sound is <clears throat> off by about a second and a half. That's not my doing. The creator of the, this certain application, he knows, and he's fixing it. So moving on. Those of you who actually did make it to my stick cam room last night to check my first video blog out, thank you. And uh, yeah, last night was no different. Last night I had Zach Braff show up. And he was a good kisser. He's got those lips. Just I just want to suck on his lips for like days. Um, which is weird because normally, I don't know if it's just me, but normally when I'm in a dream with someone, regardless of who they are, most of the time they're really bad. Like they're really super bad kissers. And it's just so disappointing. But I digress. Uh, because from, well, I don't even digress. For me, point blank, bad kisser, deal breaker. I know some people were like, well, I'll still have sex with that person even if they're a bad kisser. I can't. I can't do it. It just, it sucks all the fun out of it. And if you can't kiss somebody while you're fucking them, you might as well be fucking a prostitute because prostitutes don't like to kiss when they fuck either. Uh, not that I would know that. I'm just going off of what I see in the movies. But you know what I mean? You, you, you just... Blech. Why would you want to? Why would you want to have sex with someone or make love to someone when you you can't stand kissing them? That's just lame. So, to go off on a completely <laughs> different tangent, Simon and I went out to dinner tonight, and we went to have Thai food. And Simon had gotten there probably about five minutes before I did, five ten minutes before I did. And as I was walking to the table. <laughs> there was a group of people sitting next to our table and apparently they had, I'm guessing probably a one-year-old sitting between two adults on the booster seat, but I didn't see the kid. And as I walked by, the kid went, ah! which made me go, holy fanoli. I don't know. Because um, I'm trying really hard not to drop the F-bomb so much in public. And also I was wearing my sorority letters because pretty much my sorority jacket is one of the only jackets that's waterproof since it's been raining. <clears throat> and when you're, for those of you that, have, that have, are in the Greek system or alumni in the Greek system, you know that when you're in your letters, you're not supposed to do anything inappropriate like drinking, smoking, swearing, stuff. Um, and the whole dinner, this kid was just every like 10 minutes would just go, ah! And I almost poked myself in the eye with a, you know, I was doing something. I almost poked myself in the eye. I stabbed myself with a fork because I was putting food in my mouth and the fucking kid screamed and I stabbed myself. But I, I couldn't be mad at the kid, you know, because he was finding it. He's at that age where he's finding his voice. And so they don't know words yet. And it's just all vocal. And, but I was just, I mean, it's it still, again, in my mind told me that if I ever opened a restaurant, I would definitely have a section just for families with kids so that, you know, they can yell, scream, whatever. And it would be a soundproof room, obviously. <laughs> but that's about it, really, for this evening. And before I forget, Sacramento people, I need you to PM me. PM me. PM me hard. I need you to send me a MySpace message with your phone numbers, especially Sean and Misha and Jones, if you'd like. But Sean and Misha, I need your phone numbers so I can start texting you and I can text you once I get right outside of Sacramento. But I should be there by the 4th. I wanna, I'm want to. i going to stay overnight on the 4th to watch the fireworks and hang out with my friends. And... I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Me and my crooked smile are out of here. <laughs>